Hey, so you'll never guess what, but this morning I woke up and I found this. And when I open it, it's so amazing. It says, Dear Emily, I have to stay home to look after my family. So I've asked all of my friends to hide an egg for you to find. I think that's an Easter egg. You won't be able to do it alone, so I'm filming this because I want you to help me. Here is your first clue. Where the bridge crosses the river, you'll find your first egg. <laughs> With love from us all in the burrow, the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny has sent me this picture. He is safe at home. Oh, and look, here is another photo. Let's remember what the first clue was. Where the bridge crosses the river, you'll find your first egg. I think I can see the bridge in the middle. Can you? Here's the bridge and there's the stream. And look, it goes underneath there and out on the other side. Let's have a look for the egg. Can you see it? There it is. Here is the second clue. Let's see what it says. Dear Emily, here is your second clue. If you go into the woods today, you're sure to find a surprise. This letter is signed, with love from us all, the shepherd's sheep. And look, here's a photo of them all. These shepherd sheep are a special flock of sheep. One night, long ago, the night was dark and everything was quiet. Suddenly, there was a blaze of bright light and an angel's voice spoke to the shepherds. The angel said, The Saviour has come, born today in Bethlehem. He is asleep in a manger. The shepherds hurried to the town and they saw baby Jesus. It was a night that they never forgot. Here are the woods. But the big question is, can you see the surprise? Of course, a teddy bear's picnic. There it is. Well done, we found the third clue. Shall we see what it says? It says, Dear Emily, here is your third clue. When I fly way up high and look down below, I can see the grand old tree surrounded by lots of stone. The letter is signed with love from the baptism dove. The baptism dove is a good friend. When Jesus was baptised, heaven was opened. The Spirit of God was seen to fly down from the sky like a dove. A voice from heaven said, Jesus is my own dear Son. I am pleased with him. The baptism dove has given us a photo from way up high to help us. That looks like my church and the grand old tree. I think I've found the grand old tree. And look, all around there's stone. Even the church is made of stone. This tree is very, very old. I'm looking really hard, but I can't see it. Can you? Oh, there it is. You did it! You found clue number four. Let's see who this one's from. Dear Emily, here's your fourth clue. Where I love to swim, you'll find something that allows you to hear the waves in the sea. This is signed off with love from Faithful Fish. Faithful Fish has so many amazing stories to tell. 
faithful fish was swimming in the sea when Jesus and his friends caught so many fish the nets were breaking. Faithful fish was swimming in the sea when there was a big storm. Jesus commanded the storm to be still and it was calm again. Faithful fish was also swimming in the sea when Jesus walked on water. I think I found where the next clue will be hidden. Now fish love to swim in this pond. We are looking for something that allows us to hear the waves in the sea. There it is. When you put a shell like this to your ear, you can hear the waves in the sea. That's it, you did it. Here is the fifth clue. Let's see what it says. Dear Emily, here is your fifth clue. Go to the place where the bells are rung to call everyone to worship God together. This clue is signed with love from both of us, Joyful Donkey and Junior. These two donkeys are very special. They carried Jesus into Jerusalem and crowds of people spread their coats and branches of palm on the road. I found the church where all the people come to worship in one place. Now through this door I believe the where the bells are rung. Let's have a look. There's the rope and it goes all the way up to the top through the wood up there, where the bells are hidden. Can you find the egg? There it is. You did it! Congratulations! Here is the sixth clue. Let's see what it says. Dear Emily, here is your sixth clue. At the Last Supper, Jesus shared bread and wine. Go to the place where your church received the Holy Communion. This clue is signed with love from the crowing rooster. One day, Jesus was arrested, even though he had done nothing wrong. Before dawn, one of Jesus' friends, Peter, said that he did not know Jesus. Peter said this three times. Then the rooster crowed, and Peter was very sad for what he had said. This is the place in my church where people come to take part in Holy Communion. We eat bread and drink wine, just as Jesus did. The altar is covered by a white sheet. Can you find the egg? There it is. We've done it. We found clue number seven. Let's see what it says. Dear Emily, here is your seventh and final clue. There are three of these and they are made out of wood. They stand tall, especially at Easter. This clue is signed with love from Graceful Lamb. Isn't Graceful Lamb cute? He's one of my favourite friends. This lamb has a pure white coat. In the same way, Jesus was perfectly pure. Jesus is called the Lamb of God. He was sacrificed for sin once and for all. Here they are. I knew I'd find them. Some of my good friends here at Tickenham Church set these three wooden crosses up especially for Easter Sunday. Shall we see if we can find the last egg? This last egg is very shiny. There it is. Well done, we found the last egg. 
And there was also a final note. I don't think it's another clue. It says, congratulations. I'm going to see what it says. Dear Emily, congratulations to you and your friends. When you break open that first Easter egg, remember the day that Jesus' tomb was opened. Yes, Jesus did die, but he came back to life. Jesus truly is God, and he lives forever and ever. He is waiting for us all in heaven. Happy Easter, loving lion. Thank you very much for helping me find all of these beautiful Easter eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I hope you have a lovely Easter at home where you are safe. Bye.